Keynote is Apple's presentation software, very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. To launch it, I would like you to touch the icon that looks like a podium. The very first time you launch this, you're gonna be you're gonna see a welcome screen. I've already launched this before, so this here, anytime after you do that initial walkthrough, anytime you go into Keynote, this is the screen that you're gonna get. Now from here, I can select this plus sign up here at the top and that plus sign is going to allow me to create presentation. Anytime you go to create a new presentation you're going to be greeted with the um, opportunity to choose a theme. A theme is kind of a unified background that will appear on all of your slides and kind of ties your presentation together with some consistency. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to select the motorcycle one. This one's called showroom. And again, that motorcycle, I could swap that picture out later. This is just showing you the general style of that presentation. And when you first get in here, in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see presentations. I'm just going to mouse over that just to show you. If you touch presentations, that actually takes you back out to that keynote slide. And notice now, since I started this presentation, you will see that the motorcycle theme is showing there. I'm just going to touch that to launch right back in. That's an easy way to go back and swap between if you have multiple projects going on. Across the top, next to presentations is the undo section. And undo is very helpful. It's going to become your best friend. If you ever make a mistake or you accidentally delete something or move something where you don't want it, you just touch undo and it will bring it right back to you. The next section over here across the top is the little paintbrush. And that is a context-specific format tool. If you touch on a picture, and I'm just going to touch on the picture and then touch the format tool, you'll notice it'll bring up some specific options of what I can do there. If I touch on the text area down here, I can touch that format tool and it will allow me to format the text. So it's context specific depending on what object you have selected. The next icon across the top is how you add your media or tables, charts, or shapes. And as I go through, you can see that there's different options just by touching on those. The next section, that little wrench, is your settings tool. And from here, you can work on transitions. You can share and print. If you want to search, you can find different things. You can also set up what's called presenter notes. So when you go to do your presentation, uh, what shows on a projected screen will be what the viewers see. But you can set it up so that you see notes to help prompt you as you're doing your presentation. There's an advanced section. And this will help you add slide numbers, guides, interactive hyperlinks. Um, you could also change your presentation type if you want to loop it or set it to kind of like what they call kiosk mode where your presentation will automatically go through. You don't have to touch the slides to present. You may do that. There's also a section for remote. If you have an iPod Touch or you have an iPhone, you can actually control your presentation from that device. The next icon over here is the top right hand corner. This one here is the play button. And this is the one that you will use to actually launch your slideshow. I only have one slide right now, so it's not very exciting. So I'm going to just minimize that. And that will take us right back to this. Over on the left hand side, you will see that there is only one slide visible. This is called the, the slide sorter and any slide that you add in here uh, it will show up on the left hand side and it's an easy way for you to navigate between. 